Another interaction between light and matter is refraction. Have you ever seen a spoon sitting in a glass of water? If you look at the glass from the side, the spoon looks bent or broken. The image that you see is caused by the refraction or bending of light. As you know, light is electromagnetic wave that can travel in both vacuum and medium. It can travel through different states of medium also. It can travel through liquid, solid or gas. But it has different speeds in every state of matter. It has the highest speed in vacuum followed by gas, then liquid, then solid. So, when the light travels from one medium to another different medium, it changes its speed and as a result it changes its direction. This is called refraction. So, what is refraction? Refraction happens when light is traveling at an angle and passes from one substance into another. As a result, it bends or changes its direction. The amount of light that bend when they are refracted depends on the speed of light in both materials. The greater the change in speed, the more the light will be bent as it passes at an angle from one material to the other. Every material has an index of refraction. So, what is the index of refraction? The index of refraction is the ratio of speed of light in a vacuum to the speed of light in the material. The greater the index of refraction, the more light slows down in the material. For example, because glass has a larger index of refraction than air, light moves more slowly in glass than air. The refraction of light is very clear in prisms. So, how do prisms affect light? A prism is a glass object with two flat sides at an angle. A prism refracts sunlight into colorful patterns known as the rainbow. So, how does refracting light create colors? White light such as sunlight is made up of different wavelengths of visible light. Red light has the longest wavelength and the violet light has the shortest. The different wavelengths are refracted different amounts by a prism. The red wavelength is bent the least and the violet wavelength is bent the most. Light is bent in a prism when it enters and as it leaves. The light that leaves the prism is separated into different colors as a result of the bending or the refraction. Another application for the refraction is the mirage. Have you ever traveled in a car and seen what looked like a pool of water on the road ahead? As you got closer, the pool of water seemed to disappear. What you saw was a mirage. A mirage is an image of a distant object that is made when light is refracted through air layers of different densities. As we discussed before, the speed of wave depends on different factors. One of these factors is the temperature of the medium. The higher the temperature of the medium, the higher the speed of the wave. Mirages occur when the air at ground levels is much warmer or cooler than the air above. The density of air increases as it cools. Light waves more slower in cooler air than in warmer air. Light waves are refracted as they pass through air layers with different temperatures.